Welcome to Digital Exposure TV. Today I'm going to show you a Mac Top tip. And today's Mac Top tip is specifically aimed at people who are visually impaired, have um, slightly blurry vision, cataracts, anything that impairs your vision and makes it difficult for you to use a computer. Now we're going to start with um, how to make your cursor bigger. This is a common problem with people with visual impairment is they can't see the cursor. You might not be able to see the cursor right now. So let's run through this quickly so that you can get to that part. Um, on your top left, you'll see a little Apple sign. If you go down to system preferences, um, you can also access this in your dock below here. Um, you can see system preferences. It's a square box with some gears in it. So once you've clicked on either one of those, it brings up to you the, this one screen. And down on the right hand side, you'll see a blue sign that says universal access. We click on that. You will see that we have a variety of different options. We'll go straight to the mouse first. And at the bottom, you see the mouse is on the right hand side there. It's highlighted in blue for you now. If you go to the bottom, you can see cursor size for difficulties seeing the mouse. And it, the very left hand side says normal, on the very right hand side says large. We'll go to the larger one, we'll go too large, but now you can see the cursor is very large and very clear for people with visual impairment. Um, you can also change the speed, it says initial delay and maximum speed. I won't change that for now because I might screw it up and make it a bit off. However, if you want to change that because the speed's too quick for your eyes to follow if, you've, if you're visually impaired, that is a great tool. Um, above it, it says uh, for difficulties using the mouse, you can use the keys instead of the mouse. You can switch that on. So when you switch that on, you can then use your keys on your keypad to move the, the cursor around. Um, press the option key five times to turn mouse keys on or off. Now that one could be a bit tricky if you're visually impaired you've got to find the option key and it's just a tiny little key that might be awkward to locate. I'm not being condescending that genuinely is a problem for people with bad visual impairment um, but you can click that on and then press the option key five times to switch back and forth between the mouse and using the keys on the keypad to navigate. If we go over to keyboard which is at the top just on the left of the mouse button for difficulties pressing more than one key at a time, you can use a sticky keys feature. Um, I don't find that very helpful, but if you're visually impaired, you might find that helpful. Or if you have any kind of other impairment, it might help with. Um, beep when a modifier key is set. I've got that set on. Display pressed keys on the screen. Um, that's quite helpful if you're not sure what you've pressed. For difficulties with initial or repeated keystrokes, um, you can click on slow keys. Uh, puts a delay between when a key is pressed and when it is accepted. That's very helpful for some people. Use click key sounds. So you can actually, when you click a key, it gives you an audio cue. Acceptance delay. You can use that long or short, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, key repeat delay can be, a, can be set or turned off in keyboard preferences. Now you can set your keyboard preferences there. Enable access for assistive device. Show universal access status in the menu bar. Um, I don't know what you'd use those for, but it's nice to know that they're there for you if, if you require it. Hearing, um, that's for hearing impaired. Flash the screen when a, a, an alert sound occurs. That's very helpful because I know people with hearing impairments and that can be very, very helpful for people. Test the screen flash, so we can test it there. Can you see that flash? That's what will happen to let you know that you've, um, you've activated something. Uh, to raise or lower the volume, use sound preferences. So you can adjust the volume. If you click adjust volume there, you can change the alert levels and the output volume, and you can also change the different sounds. Um, they've got basso, blow, bottle, frog, funk, some 
bizarre things. And then if I click back here and go to seeing again, um, if you if you have visual impairment, there's a voiceover. You can turn the voiceover on, and then you can change. See this voiceover utility here. If you click on that, then you can change your settings. You can probably hear that in the background. Maybe not. It's uh, basically sounds like Stephen Hawking telling me what to do. Um, zoom. You can turn zoom on or off, and that is um, basically a hot key. It tells you the keys there to press. When you turn them on, you can press those hot keys and it will help you to zoom in. There's options there, various different parameters that you can change. I won't change those because it might make things difficult for the rest of the explanation. Um, you can switch black and white on, I think is a brilliant thing because uh, some people do have trouble. There you go, you can see everything's black and white. Some people do have trouble with certain colours. I know people find it hard to read green or red over white. Um, the grayscale does help. Um, you can change it to white on black, as you can see here. Some people actually prefer this just as a choice because they like the visual style of it. However, if you do have visual impairment, this is very, it makes, I find this easier to read. White over the top of black just stands out better. And then you can flick that back to how it was. You can enhance the contrast from normal to maximum. Although that is a bit garish for myself, um, you might find that actually helps depending on your eyesight. Um, there is hotkeys there to reduce and in increase the uh, contrast. Um, then you've got your enable access and show universal access status bar in the menu down here so that people can actually see. If I click that now, show universal access status in the menu bar, you'll see a little icon comes up here and it's the same circle with a man in it as you clicked on to get to this menu. If you click on there, it gives you various different options. It won't give me them at the moment because I'm already in the menu. Enable access for assistive devices. Um, personally, I think the show universal access status in the menu bar is very helpful because you can go straight from your desktop to there without having to go to your preferences if you can't remember where they are. So there you go. That's your... Um, basically, I want to show you that mainly for increasing the size of things. However, if you want to increase the size of your icons like this one here, if you right click on your desktop and go to show view options, you'll see here there's an option that says icon size. Now you can make the icons very big or very, very tiny. It's entirely up to you, but you're probably thinking, well, that's no good if I can't read the text below the icon. Below mine, it says HD for hard drive. Now, if you click here, text size, it'll go up to 16. It's not very large, I'll grant you that. Um, however, this is on a 32 inch screen, so that's why it probably looks smaller than it really is. So then you can adjust your icon size and your text size. That's the maximum icon and text size you can get. Um, you can adjust your grid spacing so that if you've got multiple icons, you can space them out more so they're easier for you to see. Uh, you can change the label from the bottom to the right. You can see here the HD is on the right now of that circle, bottom on the bottom of it. You can show item info, you probably won't need that if you're visually impaired, having more information like how many gigabytes are available in that file is not really going to help you, especially if you can't read it very well. Um, you can show icon preview, this is one that's very helpful. So if you get an image, instead of it just coming up and saying JPEG um, with a little white box, the icon preview will actually show you a preview of the picture. So you can arrange your icon, snap to grid, name, date, anything that you want to arrange your icons by. Let's close that. Let's close that. Now you know how you can arrange your icons. And if I open up something here, you can see... Um, that's bloody ridiculous. So there you go. Hopefully that will help people out with visual impairment. Um, let's look at the main points here that will help you increase the size of your icons, increase the um, size of your text with your icons, increase the size of text overall, 
um, change the color so that you can see things better and increase the size of your cursor. Hopefully that will help you out in your daily life and hopefully we've helped you here today at uh, Digital Exposure TV. Please subscribe to see any more Mac tips and also our photography videos and everything else that we do and we hope you have a good day.